Is that cannibalism? I think that's a form of cannibalism. Hey guys, it's Sharon. <laughs> Welcome to another thankful Thursday. If you missed last Thursdays, basically I told you guys every November, or well, technically this is only the second November I've done it, but from now on we're gonna say every November. I do this thing called thankful Thursdays. Last year I did like a bunch of videos that include my subscribers and kind of sort of all my videos now really include my subscribers. So this year I decided I'm gonna do all of your favorite videos that I make. Last week I did embarrassing crush stories and this week I am doing worst, disgusting, whatever, kissing stories because we've had a lot of those in our lives. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And of course, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter so you can be in my videos just like this one. And if you want to see more, you should probably subscribe. But anyways, I once again have asked you guys, I think this is like a part three now, have we created another mini series, Worst Kissing Stories? Yeah, you can go watch part two, part one if this doesn't disgust you enough. And you might not ever want to kiss anyone after this again, and I don't blame you, but you were warned. So let's get into this. I was with my boyfriend and he asked me if if I wanted to make out and I said yes. He leans in for a kiss and the next thing you know he has his tongue basically down my throat and I started gagging. And he got mad, broke up with me, and left. P.S. I love you too and P.S. I wish your boyfriend loved you too. So if we really think about it this way, he made you gag so we can say that he made you choke. So you were choking and this boy made you choke so in reality this boy almost killed you and then he dumped you? Wow. Men ain't it, sis. Once I kissed a picture of my crush that was in the yearbook. You know, I feel like that's one way to kiss your crush so you gotta do what you gotta do sis I can't really blame you for that it's kind of sad now that you think about it but as long as you're happy that's all that matters right right his tooth fell into my mouth and I swallowed it did you kiss him when he was like four years old that is so nasty but actually now I'm curious did he lose that tooth forever or was it like baby teeth could you imagine it's like it's front tooth homeboy doesn't have a front tooth ever again because it's like in your stomach is that cannibalism I think that's a form of cannibalism a few months ago I started going out with my boyfriend's best friend. I was dating both of them. When I kissed his best friend, he threw up in my mouth. Okay, you know, we're not gonna ignore the elephant in the room. It is disgusting that someone threw up in your mouth. No one ever wants that. But also there is this thing in life that we like to call karma. And this is kind of what you get for dating your boyfriend and his best friend at the same time. But I guess if they were both okay with it, then so be it. But I can't imagine any best friend duo being okay with that. And if they are, I'd be a little bit concerned and they might be a little bit sketchy and shady. Who knows? I've never known who my dad was. And I have this boyfriend. We were together for five months and my mom never knew and me and my boyfriend kissed and had done it. A week later, my mom told me who my dad was and it turned out to be my boyfriend's dad. So I guess my boyfriend is my brother and we both know now and we broke up. You know what? At least you broke up. There's some people out there that would have kept this thing going like some Degrassi type of stuff. So I'm very proud of you. I would never be able to love anyone else again because I just wouldn't know what the truth is. How do you trust anyone after that? I would be scared and traumatized for everything. That sucks. My crush asked me out on a date. I had liked him for a while, so of course I said yes. 15 minutes into the date, he tried to kiss me. I told him I did not want my first kiss to happen so sudden and we should take it slow. He got up, dumped his red drink on my white top, and walked out. The next day, I got a text saying, if you won't kiss me, I'll date your best friend. Excuse me? I'm sorry, who does this man's think he is? Not even a man's, this is a boy. That is one, rude, two, disrespectful, three, not cute. Also, said this before and I'm saying it again, you don't have to do anything you don't wanna do and if someone is peer pressuring you, bye. I'm glad you didn't waste your first kiss on this person because he didn't deserve it and he's obviously trash and I hope your best friend didn't kiss him either. I hope to this day, those boys, I almost said man, those boys' lips have never been kissed and I hope he lives a kissless life. But we don't like peer pressure. It's almost 2020. This guy had a crush on me, but I'm probably the most oblivious person you could ever meet. He went to kiss me, but when he was leaning close, I thought he just wanted a hug, so I did the same. But then I tripped and my front teeth got stuck in his forehead and we had to go to the emergency room. P.S. I love you too and I'm sending my love to Scotland. Also, I'm sending my best regards and wishes to this boy who's walking around with like an indent of two front teeth on his forehead. Can you imagine your front teeth were just stuck to his forehead for the rest of of his life. What a fun story to explain to people. I hope he's okay. I know his forehead ain't. My boyfriend and I were in the movie theater and it was kind of dark. There was another boy beside me and I leaned over to kiss my boyfriend and kiss the other guy, but the guy didn't tell me. He just kissed me back and then my boyfriend comes back from the bathroom 
room and well at least we are still together how does this happen the movie theater is not that dark unless you're watching a movie that was literally just filmed in the dark it is not that dark and i also feel like shouldn't you remember what side your boyfriend sat on or more importantly shouldn't you remember if your boyfriend got up and went to go pee just a thought i guess mistakes happen but this is a very sussy mistake is that a new word that I just created? Yeah, that's gonna be a comment for today. Hashtag sussy. S-U-S-S-Y. Yeah. I mean, unless they lost the power in this movie theater and it's like completely pitch black and you suddenly lost all sense of direction, but. I've only ever kissed my cousin twice. You want a cookie? Is that something to be proud of? You shouldn't. I was at this high school party and I was standing in the corner trying to stop a nosebleed when this very drunk boy just comes over to me, sticks his tongue down my throat, and I accidentally drop my tissue. My nose started to bleed into his mouth and he stopped kissing me, turned to my crush who was right next to me, and spit all the blood in his face. And then the boy I was kissing passed out and everyone was staring at me with blood all over my face. I had to move schools. This boy's really kissed homegirl without her consent. That is not cute. We don't stand that. Also, you know, I guess that kind of is karma for kissing someone without their consent. It just kind of sucks for the crush who just had to like deal with the blood getting spit on him. That sounds like some Carrie type of nightmare up in here. But you know what? At least it was a party to remember. And we got to look on the bright side of things. I was dating someone and he tried to kiss me and I punched him and dislocated his nose. I felt so bad. I didn't break up with him. But after a while, he cheated on me. I mean, you did break his nose. I'm kidding. That's not an excuse to cheat. I can't tell who's in the wrong in this situation. It just sounds like a, like a series of unfortunate events. Why would you punch someone that hard? Yeah, you were dating this person. Why would you punch them in the face if you're dating them? Guys, I know there's tough love, but this is something else now. When I was straight, I was kissing my ex-boyfriend in his dorm room and he burped in my mouth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is when home sis realized she was no longer straight. Iconic. So I was at school and this boy tried to kiss me. I could see a booger dangling out of his nose, so I ran away. He fell on his face and broke his nose. He is now homeschooled. Apparently there's a theme in this video where we like to break other people's noses. Whether on accident or whether we're punching them or running away from their boogies, this just sucks. Homeboy hurt his nose so bad he had to be homeschooled. I have no idea what the two have to do with each other, but I'm a assuming his nose just looked that messed up afterwards. Yikes. You know what? Lesson learned, guys. Always check for boogies or your crush might run away from you and you might fall and break your nose. I had just started dating this guy and we were watching a movie in his bed and for a quick minute, I was on top of him just kissing and his mom walked in on us. I had never met her before and she first saw me on top of her son. She stared at my boyfriend super pissed off. She never liked me. You know what? You did make a first impression. Probably not. Honestly though, if I was a mom and I walked into a girl on my son and I've never met this home girl, she's in my house kissing my child in a very risque way. Yeah, no. Bye. And I'll probably call your mom too. I've never kissed someone, but I kissed someone in a dream once and they slapped me. Even in your dreams, you can't win. How tragic is that? Never had a kiss. You're finally dreaming of kissing someone and they slap you. Yikes. Is that like reality just knocking you out of your sleep and being like, yes, yeah, this ain't happening and it's never gonna happen. That kind of sucks. I'm so sad. Hopefully one day in your dreams, you can actually kiss someone. Hopefully in real life too. <laughs> when he kissed me, he said it tasted like dog piss. How does he know what dog piss tastes like? That is the real question here. So who's the nasty one? Homegirl with dog piss breath or homeboy that knows what dog piss tastes like? Think about it, y'all. I threw up in his mouth and he swallowed it. To this day, we don't talk to each other anymore. I feel like it's one thing to throw up in someone's mouth and I feel like it's another thing to swallow their throw up and I feel like swallowing their throw up is the, the ew, the nastiest thing ever. All I can think of is like a mama bird chewing up the food and feeding it to her kid. Disgusting, because I'm not trying to have this little mom bird bird son relationship with my mans i could never be able to look at that person the same ever again like imagine if they ate something really really nasty for lunch like what if they had like a chili corn dog or something eh. all right this is gonna be the last one but it is a long one so ladies and gents my home sis is out there buckle up it says my friend had this secret boyfriend that she couldn't wait to show me she said she was going to show me who it was at this one party so me and this friend were at the party and my friend was gonna go look for a boyfriend Friend, so I decided to stay at the entrance and wait for her to come back. Then this really cute guy was flirting with me and one thing led to another and we ended up kissing. 
After the kiss, we exchanged numbers and I told him I was going to find my friend. Once I finally found her, she told me she didn't know where he was. I told her that she should carry on looking and I'll bring us some punch. When I found my friend, she was with the guy I kissed before introducing him as her boyfriend. I just froze and didn't say anything and then he said, hi, nice to meet you. As if he's never seen me in his life. When me and my friend got home, I told her everything that happened and she broke up with him the next day. P.S. I love you too and P.S. this is a good friend. Homeboy sucks, but we're not surprised. He's a little bit of a Joey. Nice to meet me, huh? I'm sure that's exactly what you're saying. You're sucking my face off, you cheating pig. Whatever. So what we've learned from this is you can't trust anyone. Bruh. So after reading all these stories, one thing did cross my mind though. I feel like kissing itself is kind of disgusting just on its own. Like you're literally swapping saliva with someone else. It doesn't get any nastier than that, you know? So then when we involve stuff like throwing up and like swallowing teeth and like bleeding and yikes, and I feel like I would never want to kiss someone ever again, but I also can't imagine not ever kissing someone ever again. You know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have your own embarrassing kiss, story that didn't make it in the video go ahead and comment it down thank you shout out the week goes to andrew and you are andrew insta god on instagram thank you so much if you guys do want to be shout out of the week just follow me on my instagram and stay active but enough about that if you guys do want to see more videos you should definitely and totally subscribe for more but all that being said i'll see you guys next time bye